this is common buckthorn, one of our invasives on our area, a scientific name of Ramnus cathartica. Uh, it's quite invasive, usually in our lower areas like we are here, where it's kind of wet, wetter areas, marshier areas, does especially well in them. And it'll form very, very tight thickets of everything from three foot, four foot high to a plant like we have here that probably has a, what, a six inch, DB, a six inch diameter of 25, 30 foot tree. Uh, some of the identifying characteristics of Ramnus cathartica are the bark. It's kind of got a, a, a horizontal feel to the, to the detail on the bark on a smaller piece like this. If we go in with a larger, uh, a full grown bush or tree, it has a bark that develops kind of this, these long striations, and then as you can see, it kind of flakes off. The buds on uh, common buckthorn, the buds and the twigs are not exactly opposite. They're what we call sub-opposite or sub-alternate. It's, it's somewhere between. You can see that it's almost opposite, but not, not perfectly and almost I think of a staccato that one comes off and then the other and then nothing and then one comes off and then the other. And if you look carefully at the buds, at the terminal bud, there will be the thorn for which it's named and then two clasping buds around it that almost look like a, a deer print in the snow or in the mud and that's where it gets its name of buck thorn, at least some would say. Something that's, that's very distinctive about common buckthorn is it has, once you, once you peel away the bark, Cambium is, has this very orange color. And the heartwood, if you look at the heartwood, uh, it also has a very orange, orangish look to it. Uh, something that some of us use, and it's, it's not foolproof, but once you've smelled cut common buckthorn, a lot of us would say that it has an extremely distinctive odor, not very pleasant odor, but you can use that to break a twig, smell the twig, and confirm that yes, what you have here is, is common buckthorn. In the summer, this has green leaves. They tend to come out early. They tend to stay late. Um, some would say that's a wonderful horticultural plant. It's partly why it was, it was spread in the horticultural trade. Uh, the leaves tend to remain fairly uh, hole through the year, not much attracts them. This plant is uh, one of those plants that has both male and female trees. So the berries, which are black, are, are fairly identifying to it, but you won't find them on, on the male trees. You'll only find them on the female trees. So even if you find one, it doesn't have berries, or you've just found a male common buckthorn. The berries are where it actually gets its scientific name, Ramnus cathartica. Cathartica or catharsis, uh, they, the berries have a laxative effect on birds, which is wonderful for the plant. It means a, a bird can eat the berries and easily spread them throughout the area, and that's how this plant is, is often normally spread. Uh, the berries themselves are not very good food, and often you'll see the berries still on the tree late in the season, late in the winter, because they're not a favored food, but the birds will eat them and then spread them through, through a, a woodland. Uh, one other thing that's not really identifying, but it's interesting about common buckthorn, is it's one of those plants that's very strongly allopathic that puts out poison in its roots, poison in its, its wood, and you'll find in a stand of buckthorn, not only because of the thick shade, but also because of this toxin that it's putting through the soil. Nothing else is growing. It also affects clearly wildflowers, but also um, small animals, small uh, frogs, snakes, uh, toads that might be living under there but are affected by the poison. So basically this is one of those plants that practices a lot of chemical warfare against any of its competitors and, and comes out very it comes out ahead because of that. So that's Ramnus cathartica common buckthorn.